my name is Deb Miller. We live in Sir Roscoe, Michigan. My husband and I own a carpet store. That break put a million gallons into our river, changed our communities forever. We're looking at houses that are setting empty. We're looking at our property values that have declined. And our business was closed for three and a half months. The impact financially to us was incredible, incredible. And it's not only that, that short term impact, it's long term. You know, how do we get that business back? And, and business owners need to be aware of that. What is that doing to our tax base, our public safety, our schools, whatnot? What happens there? They told us it was a nuisance, but there were no health concerns to be worried about. And at that time, they just talked about oil. Crude oil, there was no diluted bitumen, there was no tar sand, nothing. That pipeline was built with the idea of putting raw crude through it. Was there any documents, was there any inspections, anything done to allow this different product, this diluted bitumen, to be put through it? It's a much more corrosive product. That's the thing that people have to realize. You get a pipeline approved today to go through, what's going to go through that pipeline in 15 years? There is nothing that says they can't change that. I think we have a lot to learn. Uh, the regulations need to be tightened um, and communities need to be more aware.